It is me, Braden A, B A S, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. We are back with some more seven second riddles, horror stories. Let's get it. Um so last episode we had reacted to Computer Game Gone Wrong, my horror story that'll chill your blood, and we reacted to Granny Horror Story. Um which the which um by the way my last rankings on these horror stories on the scariness scale, I gave this one a 0 0.6 out of 10 because that this story right here was probably the least um blood chilling story ever despite the title. Like bro, I, I like literally none of it even made sense, like and it's f fucking fake anyway and it's just kind of stupid. But the same can't be said for Granny Horror Story. This one is the best horror story of them all, bro. Actually, that was actually kind of a good story, not gonna lie. I would recommend if... I'd recommend y'all go watch this one. Because it's pretty... It's pretty... Pretty scary, not gonna lie. But I do kind of have high hopes for these two today. Um, which is when Halloween went wrong. Which, it's not Halloween, but it will be in two months. And we have Alexa's Dark Side. Yeah, by the way, I have a, I have an Alexa in my room. So, every time I say that, she's probably going to go off. Actually, you know what? Problem solved. I muted her. I muted her, so it, it's all good. We don't have to worry about her going off. So, I can now say Alexa anytime I want. So, alright. So, without all the bullcrap and all that, let's just go ahead and get on to this. Um, alright, so first off, we're starting off with the goofy intro with the Momo. Whatever. I guess there's their new intro now so whatever but all right let's go ahead and start this no more talking let's get let's get it this intro ain't even that scary though every year in late october i always get very anxious and antisocial i rarely answer my phone stay home more often Bruh. and generally retreat into myself usually people around me just is this guy me Hold on a minute. Is this me? Bro. Where's my bean yet? Actually, you know what? I actually, you know what? That that reminds me. You know, that reminds me. I'm wearing my beanie today. I feel like, you know, since we're in the the fall spirit, I usually wear this during the fall and the winter. Um, Actually, that's a lie. I don't, but I'm going to start. Um, But yeah, wow. Like, your, your, your bedroom is kind of lame, though. Because, why do you have a 7 second riddles poster? Bro, get with the times, man. It's 5 minute crafts, not 7 second riddles. Actually, wait, they died too. Actually, this whole company died, bro. When is the last time you heard from these guys? Exactly. No one cares about them anymore. They've fallen off more than me. <laughs> They've fallen off more than my 6 year friendship. Just assume I have the fall blues or something like that. Occasionally, they try to cheer me up or talk about it, but for the most part, they don't really dig into it. And I prefer it that way. Well, this background music Thing slaps. Is, my anxiety has a reason. I hadn't shared it with anyone. Bro, my anxiety is bad even when it isn't fall. Like, bro, even when it's not fall, my anxiety is still bad, and I still am kind of antisocial, but I do talk to people. But... I kind of want to keep to myself nowadays, mostly because of all the friendships I've lost, and it's just like, what the fuck's the point? You know what I'm saying? What is the point? So I get this guy already. I get this guy. This guy is a W. W man's right here. I was way too confused and scared to do so. But as October passes year after year, it gets harder Bro, to bottle it up. October is my favorite month. Like, what are you talking about? Up inside and pretend everything is fine. And this year, I, I just can't do it anymore. What? I used to have a friend. I'm gonna call him Jack. We were best friends for as long as I could remember. Wasn't, wasn't that name not literally used in, like, one of the previous horror stories already? Like, bro, you could have named him Johnny. You could have named him Michael. You could have named him, um, Ashton. I don't know. I could remember, and I'd always try to be there for him. You see, school bullies were constantly giving him a hard time for- Bro, same, bro. Same. Bro, I hate school bullies so much, bro. They can go jump off a cliff. They could- 
They could honestly just go and shove some jelly beans up their ass. Or, well, he had a difficult family situation. His dad was constantly drunk while his mom worked as a waitress. They lived in a trailer park, and her salary was barely enough to provide for the family. Okay, typical white trash family, okay. That is why Jack was harassed and called names like white trash on a regular basis. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, that's, that's kind of sad. I just called him white trash, and it, it just said it right for me. I, I feel bad now. Never mind, I take that back. Because not, not, not everybody can choose what household they're in. You, you guys gotta understand that, like... But off that topic, though, look at the mom, bro. How does this gorgeous lady get with this fat ass? Sometimes they were getting at me, too, you know, for being friends with him. But I've been practicing bro, why are you punching him? martial arts ever since I was a little boy, and I knew I could defend myself. Oh, wait. I tried to teach Jack some What is this guy doing, bro? He's just like... I mean, that's kind of me, but I don't just sit there and go... I sit there and go... So he could at least protect himself when I'm not around, but Jack W friend, bro. W friend right here. This friend right here is the W friend. Wasn't that kind of guy. He was always very humble and shy. Same. He could never hit another person. Not even if that jerk really deserved it. Exactly, like, bro. Not everyone can defend themselves. Like, you know, it's not that easy. You know, most people are just like, you know, ignore him, bro. That's what I've been doing. That is, the people who say, when, when somebody's getting bullied and you talk to somebody and they say, just ignore them, bro. Those, cl clearly those people have never been bullied in their fucking life, bro. You can't just ignore them, bro. You know what happens when you ignore them? They're just gonna keep fucking doing it. They're not gonna disappear, bro. They, they don't give a shit. So, whoever made that advice, bro, you're stupid. Okay, like, I'm It was sorry. October 2015. Jack and I wanted to go trick-or-treating. We knew that we were getting a little too old for it. Okay, why does it have to be October 2015? Like, bro, this is actually true. Like, back in October 2015, and on Halloween, I had the flu, bro. I literally had the flu on Halloween in 2015, and I couldn't go, man. I'm so... I wanted to go trick-or-treating so bad that year, but I couldn't. I remember my mom just ended up buying me, like, a bag of candy that year. Like, bro... But I wanted to go trick-or-treating so bad that year, bro. I don't know why. In 2015, that was W times, bro. Those I would take those times over any time right now. Like, bro, 2015 was such a good, goaded year, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. I missed 2015. I missed the early 2010s. Um, And every single year, probably since 2019 ended, has been nothing but shit. So, I, I you know... The 2010s were good. So we decided it would be our last year. As usual, I would give Jack my old costume. It was convenient. He was a little smaller, so my last year's costume would fit him. Yeah, I mean, W friend, bro. Like, W friend. Like, this friend right here. Like, the W friendship. Let's hope it doesn't just last for six years, and then one of them just ends up ignoring you, and then just leaving you on red, and they don't even reply to your messages or anything, you know? Let's just hope that don't happen. But you know? that year, it went differently. Several days before Halloween, I received a message from Jack on Snapchat. It was a snap Why did it have to be Snapchat, bro? Okay, no. Snap of him holding a creepy costume with a text. Guess I won't be borrowing your costume after all. I looked closer at the picture. Oh! He got me good, bro. Bro, he got me good. The costume was really spooky. It was a black one piece with a mask of some sort of monster. It looks like Venom. I'm not gonna lie with you. With big, sharp teeth and muddy gray eyes with no pupils. I couldn't help but- Wait, those were gray eyes, bro? I thought those were like holes. Like, bro. Surprised. I knew Jack's mom wouldn't spend money on something unnecessarily, like a Halloween costume, and his dad simply didn't care. So him having that clearly expensive costume... How would that be expensive, bro? That looked like he made it out of scratch. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, that is not expensive at all, bro. That looks like it was made... That was like that was like handmade, you know? It's unusual, to say the least. Wow, that looks fantastic. Where did you get it? That does not look like... Fan that, that is not fantastic, bro. He made that out of his own hands, okay? I was quick to reply. It was handmade. After a while, he texted me back. Doesn't matter. It's a long story. 
Will you tell me later, I asked. I was way too curious to just leave it. Jack didn't answer. I wow. waited for about half an hour and texted him again. Hey, you there? No reply. Bro, that sounds like my friend. Literally. This this is not what I wanted, bro. I, I'm watching these to escape my reality, not come back to it, you know? I couldn't sleep that night. Where did Jack get that costume? Why was he reluctant to talk about it? Why would he ignore my text? Jack's behavior was weird and totally unlike him. I wanted to confront him at school, but he never showed up. He skipped all his classes. He wasn't at our spot in the cafeteria. He didn't reply to my calls or text. Bro. What did I say, bro? It only going to last six years. Your friendship's only going to last six years. I didn't know what to think, and I got really worried. I decided to go to his place after school and check up on him. One road to his trailer park went past a junkyard. God, that place It was a huge lot filled with all sorts of trash. Yeah, bro. Like, why? I mean, hey, I mean, at least they're they're full on car tires. I mean, look at that, bro. Look, look at all those car tires right there, bro. At least they're good on that. It wasn't a nice way to walk by, but it was the shortest. When I was passing it, I heard someone scream as if they were in pain. Bro, stop with the goofy ass screams, bro. <laughs> it makes me want to scream. And my scream's goofier, trust me. I shuddered and rushed toward the sound. I shuddered. Well, guess what? I, I, I shattered. Is that what you meant? As I climbed on a rusted truck to look around, I saw Terry, one of our school bullies who used to pick on Jack. He was being stabbed. Stabbed by someone dressed in a black costume. Oh! Hold up, bro. This story just took a turn. He was being stabbed. Bro, what? Jit tripping, bro. Oh my god, dude. But actually, wait, bro. I, this hasn't happened in these, like, horror stories yet, bro. Nobody's gotten killed yet, bro. I thought these horror stories were, like, baby stories. You know, like, they, they wouldn't have the balls to, like, you know, do any... Oh, also, I forgot to mention. I've seen this video before. That's why my comment is showing up first. Nobody liked this comment, but look what I commented. Hold on. Y'all gotta see this, though. This is funny. I actually had seen this video before, that's why I decided to react to these guys, because this one was, like, one of the more popular ones that I looked at. And look what I commented. I shat myself when Momo appeared in the intro. <laughs> and that, that's the thing, I don't even remember commenting this either. Like, bro, I find that funny. Like, look, it's literally my channel, bro. That's me. Um, so if you want to go on this video and find this comment for me and like it up and make it the top comment, please do it, because that was that's a funny comment, bro. But yeah, I actually, um, I actually put that four years ago, back when they used to make these videos, to so see, four years ago, four years ago. So yeah, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, that's why I mostly decided to do this, but I haven't seen all of these, I've, I think I've only seen this one, that's why I'm reacting to the other ones, because I hadn't, I haven't seen any of the other ones but this one, this one was the one that I used to watch all the time, but I didn't know they made more, so that's why I was like, oh, you know. But let's go ahead and continue. Dude, the attacker kept stabbing him until he dropped to the floor, dead. Like, you see, I remember this one being scary, but I don't remember him being stabbed. Like, bro, what? I was shocked and terrified. I'd never seen anyone die before, and I'd certainly never seen anyone being murdered before. Oh my god, I have never seen anybody die before, but I haven't ever seen anyone get murdered before. Bro, shut up. It all just felt surreal, as if I was trapped in a horror movie or a shooter game. I knew one thing, I had- Bro. Bro really thought this was a video game and a horror movie, bro. Like, what? I had to get out of there. I tried to get off the truck without making any noise, 
but that rusty piece of junk squealed as loud as a pig. Well, you're dead. <laughs> End of story, y'all. End of story. End of story. Well, there ain't nothing like drinking a whole two liter of Sprite. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my god. Alright, y'all. He's dead. He's dead. The attacker turned around. Oh. And I... Oh, he's dead! Terry's dead, bro. Saw his face covered by a mask. The same mask that was on Jack's costume. Bro, it's Jack. Oh my god. Bro, this, this, this boy took, um, the quiet kid, literally, bro. Like, bro, this is why you never mess with the quiet kid. He's either the most chill person on earth, or he's out to get your ass soon. If you, you, you better be on the quiet kid's good side. This is the, Jack is the exact example why you should be on the quiet kid's good side, bro. With big, sharp teeth and those muddy, gray eyes, I only saw him for a second before running for my life. Yeah, bro, get out but of there. to this day, I'm more than sure it was the very same mask my friend had sent me a snap of. Not gonna lie, though, this guy's running fast for having a bunch of... He's running really fast, even though he has, like, a bunch of fucking textbooks in his goddamn backpack. Like, bro, if, if it was me, I, it would have took me at least, like, I don't know... A few steps every few seconds, bro. Even if I ran, I couldn't run with all this stuff. I'd be dropping everything. I ran like I had never done before. Damn. When I was home, I just couldn't stop shaking. I tried to calm myself yeah, down and find an explanation for what just happened. But I couldn't. I couldn't comprehend or process what I had seen. I was so scared and confused. Bro, bro is going to be traumatized for life because of his friend, bro. Like... This guy is too innocent for him. <laughs> that I didn't talk to anyone about it. I wanted to call the police, but I just couldn't force myself to speak up and have to relive it all again. Yeah, and, and you don't want your friend killing you too, bro. For snitching on him, because he probably would do that. You that know. night at our family dinner, I was sitting in my usual spot, facing the window. While my parents were seated on what is this animation, bro? This animation their side of the sucks. table. That's when I saw him again. The attacker in the car. Oh! He's in the window, bro. Who was standing outside my house, looking at me through the window. He put a finger oh. over his mouth, and the breath froze cold in my lungs. Oh my god. Then. He pointed at both of my parents and slowly moved his finger across his throat. Are you gonna slit the throat? Hold on. No way, bro. There's no way he does that. His threat was crystal clear. Oh, yeah, his threat was cr crystal clear. He was barely breathing, paralyzed with fear. First of all, why the fuck? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does this guy have his eyes closed and she's just totally facing. Like. Bro, are his parents blind? Well, obviously the dad is because he's fucking being like... Like, bro, why are you eating with your eyes closed? And how do you keep picking up the food so good with your fucking eyes closed? Are you some fucking genius or some shit, bro? Look out the window, bro. There's a killer outside of your house. Honey, you're not eating anything. Are you okay? Asked my mom with mild concern. Bro, he's still looking at you. He's like her voice he's like don't you fucking tell him if you fucking tell him i'm gonna fucking kill your ass i'm gonna slit your throat in my basement and i'm gonna drink your blood like it's a wild punch like bro what? i shuddered and dropped my fork i looked at her and nodded trying to act normal when i looked back the front lawn was empty he probably thought you just told him and he just left are you sure you're okay you look like you've seen a ghost or something my mom didn't buy it. My dad chuckled. Wait, is this on Halloween or is this like close to Halloween? I forgot. No wonder. It's almost Halloween after all. 
they both laughed, I pretended to laugh. That's not even that funny, bro. Like, dude, this dad's stupid. Laugh along. Yeah, I I'm fine. I answered, hiding fear. I grabbed my fork and started eating to a lady. I didn't mention, bro. He's a he's freaking goblin that shit, bro. Their suspicions. During the whole dinner, I couldn't take my eyes off the window, terrified that the attacker would show up again. But he never did. I never saw that creepy mask ever again. Nor did I ever see Jack. Because he was the costume. You know, you if you put the if you put the pieces together, bro, it was him. He literally sent you a snap of the costume that he had. And he just murdered his bully, bro. Put it together. Put these contacts clue together and you know that was your friend, bro. My friend was announced missing the next day. Terry's body was found several days after that. When the police contacted me, Damn. I barely told them anything. I never mentioned that Snapchat photo I received from Jack. I never told them about seeing the attacker in the same costume. I didn't say a word to my parents either. I couldn't put them at risk like that. Maybe it's selfish and cowardly, but I just couldn't. And now it's way too late. Probably because you don't want to be murdered. <laughs> the next year on Halloween, I received a phone call from a hidden number. I could hear someone breathing for a few seconds before hanging up on me. The same thing happened the year after. And the year after that. Oh. I know it's more likely to be just some it stupid could be here. prank call, but I still shudder whenever my phone buzzes in late October. It could be him, bro. It could be him. I can't help but think that it's Jack trying to reach out to me, to explain what happened, to tell his side of the story. But every time, he hangs up without saying a word. <sighs> Okay. I mean, not gonna lie, that story was really good, but it, it was the only story I could remember, but I don't I didn't remember him getting stabbed. So But not gonna lie, that was a good story. I'm gonna lie. That was a very good story. It got me in the Halloween spirit. I don't know why it did. But um yeah, it was basically a story about a quiet get getting picked on, then he murders his bully, I guess, and just disappears off the face of the earth. It was alright. I'm just gonna give it, like, a 6... a 6.2 out of 10 on the scariness go. It was... it was pretty... pretty okay. So, alright, next, next story. Alexa's Dark Side. Now, I have an Alexa, if you guys don't know that. It's literally right over there, by my window. And I have her on the red mute button so she doesn't talk Why I'm saying this, because I'm going to be saying Alexa a lot. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. My volume's all the way up. Nowadays, almost everyone has Amazon Alexa in their house. Oh, yeah. We used to have it, too. I say used to, because I convinced my parents to get rid of it. They thought I was overreacting. But after what happened, I couldn't bear to stay another second with that thing in our home. This story takes place three months ago. I wonder if this is going to get me to get rid of my Alexa. We're going to see. It was just another Thursday. I came home from school and started playing video games. Around 7 p.m., I got a text from my dad. Hey, Mom and I are running late. Don't forget to do your homework. I'll check it as soon as I get home. I knew he wasn't kidding, so I decided to get to it right away. Yeah, you better well, do Well, maybe after I made myself a sandwich. And checking the feed on my phone. Exactly, bro. Like, bro, fuck homework, bro. No, nobody cares about that shit. Next thing I knew, it was 9 p.m. I finally sat at my desk, determined to get my homework done. I started with biology, as it was the hardest one for me. I had just been... Oh, God. This is making me think about how ninth grade's gonna go. ...begun the reading, and was already lost in a dozen unknown words. I knew that if I took my phone to Google them, I'd get sunk into my social networks again. So, instead... You gotta I learn self-control, dude. ...decided to wake up Alexa to help me. Yeah. The speaker was standing right on my bedside table, so I knew it could hear me. Alexa, I said, <laughs> what is photosynthesis? A familiar electronic voice answered. 
photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy that can later be... Okay, my Alexa does not sound like that. This is already inaccurate, like, on so many levels, bro. ...released to fuel the organism's activities. I didn't understand what it meant back then. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure I understand it properly even now. How the hell am I supposed to get it? I mumbled to myself. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even sound... Photosynthesis isn't that hard to understand, though. Hell is an afterlife location. No, Alexa, stop. <laughs> I ordered. You gotta mute it, bro. I kept on reading, or at least tried to, when Alexa started off again. A place of torment and punishment. Hell is often depicted as fiery, painful, and harsh. Damn, bro! She sounds like a demon now, bro. Like, she's like... Hell is an underground afterlife location. Like, bro, what? Why are you talking about hell? Inflicting suffering on the guilty. Alexa, mute. I gave the command. Alexa stopped talking. Good. But the lights in my room turned off. Oh, this is why you do not connect your Alexa with the lights, bro. By that moment, I was more creeped out than I was ready to admit. Alexa, turn on the lights. Bro, she's still on. The lights went back on. But as soon as I looked at my textbook, they were off again. Alexa, turn on the lights. My voice was shaking at this point. <laughs> oh, God. It gave me no response, even though the blue circle was lit as an indication it could hear me. Alexa, turn on... Just unplug the device, bro. The lights, I repeated, trying to sound... Just, uh, just unplug her, bro. Just If you unplug her, she won't even do anything. It started laughing. Loudly and viciously. I remember trying to calm down, convincing myself that it was just a malfunction. But that ain't no malfunction, bro. That's like. Um. Burn it type of level. Alexa, what are you laughing at? That's like the government spying on you type shit. <laughs> I expected this question would make it stop or maybe even turn Alexa off, but instead. It gave me a one-syllable answer that still gives me the creeps. Oh, God. You. Alexa started laughing again. And even though I tried to rationalize what was happening... <laughs> Bro. I already know this is fake because this would never really happen, but it's kind of funny, though. I couldn't stop shaking. Alexa, shut up, I cried. And turn on the lights, you stupid machine. Oh, you're It done. finally obeyed. You're done. I waited for a few seconds to see if Alexa would mess with me. Okay, tomato face. God damn. Why is your... Fa but okay. All right, whatever. He's a tomato. Whatever. You know, tomato lives matter too. Again. Everything seemed fine. I sighed with relief. Thanks, Alexa. I got back to my studies, thinking that everything that just happened was just a weird malfunction. Yeah. But part of me was still freaking out. I couldn't focus on my homework. I kept looking at Alexa every five seconds, expecting it to go crazy again. I needed to make sure everything was under control, which is why I- You might as well get Hey Google. <laughs> I did something I would seriously regret later. I cleared my throat and said- Or just use Siri. Like, you said you have a phone. Use Siri, bro. Siri's like, helping. Like, Siri helps a lot, bro. Siri's kind of like Alexa, in a way. So just use Siri. Uh, Alexa, play me some music. Alexa started playing some classical music. It was elegant and slow, with violins that sounded almost like crying. In a way, it was kind of beautiful. But that wasn't what I wanted to listen to at the moment. Alexa, play The Weeknd. Bro, she wouldn't just play violin music, bro. <laughs> but that wasn't what I wanted to listen to at the moment. Alexa, play The Weeknd. I commanded. It didn't react. Alexa, play the weekend, I said a little louder. <laughs> the music was slowly changing. From classical harmony, it was slowly drifting to a chaotic cacophony of sounds. Crying violins Ew. were going off pitch. Rhythm was shifting out of step. And melody lines overlapped each other. As both my parents... Top 10 artist Beethoven was too scared to diss. Prince <laughs> are musicians. I'm pretty educated in music. Not gonna lie, like, Beethoven been been quiet ever since this song released, like, goddamn. 
However, I swear I'd never heard anything yeah. like that before. Yeah, it sounds awful. In a way, it distantly reminded me of Alfred Schnitke, but it was way more sinister and disharmonic. Alexa, turn this off. Play The Weeknd. All of this was getting on my- Bro really just wants to listen to The Weeknd, bro, and she's sitting here like- <laughs> God, that this Alexa, sounds awful. Do you hear me? As if responding to my question. I mean, good luck trying to get on your homework, bro. The music became louder. I stood up and approached Alexa. Alexa, stop this now. Nothing changed. I was at the edge of panic. Alexa, if you don't stop this right now, I will freaking smash you. It stopped the music only to say something that sounded quite vicious under the circumstances. You wouldn't dare. I couldn't believe my ears. All the weird behavior could be explained by malfunctions of a complicated gadget. But this? It sounded so consciously evil and self-confident. Yeah. Unlike any of Alexa's previous answers and program lines. I could hear blood pumping in my brain. Did you just say blood pumping in your brain? Is that even possible? Like, are you okay? <laughs> I was scared and pissed off at the same time. Yes, I will, I almost yelled, overwhelmed by fear and anger. He is your master. You're just a machine, and I'm your owner. So if you don't follow my orders, I will smash you. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> I will smash you. Alexa started laughing. Bro, <laughs> I'm laughing too, bro. He sounds ridiculous. Uh, stop laughing and do what I said. <laughs> I <laughs> Look at this idiot. I don't follow your orders. Was the reply. Oh yeah? Then who's? I will call him for you if you want. Alexa started what? whistling as if actually sending a coded message to someone. Wait, Alexa, stop. Holy crap. It kept whistling for a while and then it stopped. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Now we wait. Alexa's electronic voice summarized. For what? I forced myself to speak. For whom? No reply. Poor, poor guy can't even concentrate on his homework anymore. He's too busy about Alexa. Alexa, what have you done? I'd never been that scared in my entire life. I rushed downstairs and locked both the front and the back doors with all the locks and- You're telling me you don't already have your doors locked, bro? Like, you're just asking to get killed at this point, bro. You need to keep your doors locked at all times, front and back. <laughs> and change they had. I went to the kitchen and grabbed the biggest knife I could find. It calmed me down a bit. I even remember thinking to myself that maybe I was overreacting, and all of this had a rational explanation. I decided to go back to my room and try to reset Alexa or something. But as I was walking upstairs, I heard someone stepping on our front porch. My heart oh, jumped. Shoot. I turned around only a second before that- I mean, it's a good thing you locked your door, but you should keep them locked anyway. Someone started pounding on the door. Terrified, I dropped the knife and rushed upstairs to my room. I slammed Damn. the door and leaned on it. Before I could think of anything, Alexa woke up again. The lighting circle went red as it started playing some children's song. Holy crap, bro. You know, I find that funny how you say she's red. It's probably because you have her on the mute button. Just saying. <laughs> Got him there. As a as an Alexa owner myself, that means she's just on the mute button. What the fuck is this shit? Is this Barney? Please, I almost begged. Instead, it turned the volume up. The loud knocking from Holy downstairs shit. continued. With shaking hands, I took my cell phone and called 911. This is chaotic, I didn't bro. Tell them all the details. Just said my address and that. Bro, imagine being on the phone with the police and the police just hears children's music in the background. Just 
casually playing. Like, bro, I would, I'd be like, is this a prank call? I was trying to break into the house. Please, hurry, I cried. Alexa kept playing the same stupid song over and oh over Oh my again. god, bro. Imagine like being in this situation. <laughs> Suddenly, the music stopped. <laughs> the lights went back on, and Alexa turned off. After a moment or so, before I could process what had just happened, the police arrived. I told them... Of course. Of course she shut off, because you just told the police that we're coming in the same room as Alexa, bro. Exactly what happened, but nobody seemed to believe me. The officers were incredibly nice. They calmed me down, checked my Alexa thoroughly. Of course, it worked perfectly fine. One of them even stayed till my parents got home. But they all thought I was just imagining stuff. Poor guy, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sad that she turns off whenever the police come. It's probably because you did it in the same room as Alexa. I could see it in their eyes. Dummy. When my parents finally got home, they were shocked. They knew that I'm not a technophobe or anything. Bro, not gonna lie though, this, this right here, I mean, I'll take that any day. Mm. Anything and had always been fine with being home alone. After the officer left, I told them everything and practically begged them to get rid of Alexa. They tried to convince me that I was being overly dramatic, but I was persistent. I knew what happened, and I never wanted to go through something like that ever again. And you didn't record it? Or got any evidence or proof? Yeah, this guy's stupid. I've never been that scared in my life. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, uh, I just asked something. Just imagining stuff. Yeah, whatever. I could see it in their eyes. When my parents finally got home, they were shocked. They knew that I'm not a technophobe or anything, and had always been fine with being home alone. After the officer left, I told them everything and practically begged them to get rid of Alexa. You should have just recorded it so you had proof. They tried to convince me that I was being overly dramatic, but I was persistent. I knew what happened, and I never wanted to go through something like that ever again. The next day, my parents yielded to my prayers and got rid of it. I could feel safe in our home again. But even now, Whenever I see one of those things at a store or someone else's house, I can't help but shudder and think about what yeah. it is capable of. Bro, it's not even that deep, bro. It's not like it's gonna kill you. You'll be fine. Um. Yeah, that story was alright. I just thought it was kind of ridiculous, though. So I'm just gonna give it like a 4.1 out of 10 on the scariness scale. Um, okay, that is gonna do it for our horror stories today. Um, if you guys like the video, you know, I'm doing more of these, so yeah. Um, but this is Brayden A. B.A.S. signing off. Goodbye.